Welcome back. Today's throwback. The political lots of Lagos in the last one round 20 years, part one. Chief Christopher Shakbara Williams. This synoptic historical serialization of the politicals who, among many notable authors of their generations, got either the street com electoral support of Lagosians in the last one round 20 years, We'll start in chronological order today with Chief Shapara Williams, who passed the baton to Albert Macaulay, the latter who anointed Dr. Nandi Azikwe, from whom Chief Obafemi Awolo was snatched it and passed it to a large relative Jack Conde, who made it, in a somewhat circumstantial prophetic irony, slip to Sir Otedola before President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu came to dominate it for more than two decades and Peter Obi, in a straight electoral contestation last February 25th, gained an advantage that is either to be consolidated or squandered. Note that I have deliberately refused to mention the military characters who ruled Lagos during the two post-independence military interregna. Chief Christopher Alexander Chapara Williams, CMG, 14 July 1855, to 15 March 1915, was the first indigenous Nigerian lawyer called to the English bar on 17 November 1879. In addition to his legal practice, he came to play an influential role in the politics of Nigeria during the colonial era. He held the chieftaincy title of the Lodi Fee of Elisha, Chief Shapara Williams, was the elder brother of Ogutola Shapara, the prominent physician who boasted the chicanery of Shokmano adherents who secretly spread chicken paws on innocent victims of society that they have adjudged to have offended their deity. Williams was born on 14 July 1855. He was of Egyptian origin, but was born in Syria alone. He studied law in London at the Inner Temple and was called to the English Bar on 17 November 1879. Returning from the United Kingdom, he began practicing law in the colony of Lagos on 13 January 1888. He, aside his good understanding of English law, had intimate knowledge of the unwritten customary law. He enrolled in the Nigerian Bar Association on 30 January 1888 and was chairman of the Nigerian Bar Association from 1900 to 1915. Williams was, an, Williams was nominated to the Legislative Council, serving as a member from October 1901 until his death in 1915. In 1903, there was a crisis over the payment of the tolls that were collected from traders by native rulers. Although Europeans were exempted, the alternative was to replace the tolls by, by a subsidy. Governor Williams McGregor requested views from Williams, Charles Joseph George, and Obadiah Johnson as indigenous opinion leaders. All were in favor of retaining the tolls to avoid upsetting the rulers. In 1903, Governor McGregor had nominated Williams for a knighthood, but his recommendations were turned down. The refusal of the British Crown to create him as a knight, like Sir Akito Iyajasa, another indigenous lawyer who was created a knight, was said to be because he often sided with the people, unlike Sir Akito Iyajasa, who was always on the side of the colonial authorities and always represented them in court. In 1904, Williams moved that, quote, the present boundary between the colony and protectorate of southern Nigeria and the protectorate of northern Nigeria be readjusted by bringing the southern portion into southern Nigeria so that the entire tribes of the Yoruba-speaking people should be under one and the same administration, unquote. Sir Freddy Lugard had opposed this proposal on the grounds of administrative convenience, and the eventual decision likely followed his beliefs. The principle applied was to group people who were at roughly the same political and social level into one province rather than to try to align the provinces with ethnic boundaries. In 1905, Williams visited England. While here, he made several suggestions to the colonial office for changes to imperial policy. 
This included establishing a teacher, a teacher training college in Lagos and having more continuity of policy by the governors of the colony. Shakara Williams challenged the seditious offenses ordinance of 1909 which suppressed press criticism of the government. He pointed out that, I quote, freedom of the press is the great palladium of British liberty. Sedition is a thing incompatible with the character of the Yoruba people and has no place in their constitution. Hypersensitive officials may come tomorrow who will see sedition in every criticism and, and crime in every mass meeting, unquote. Despite his plea, the bill became law. Williams encouraged Abbott Macaulay to convene an inaugural meeting of the Lagos Auxiliary of the Anti-Slavery and Aborigines Protection Society on 30 August 1910, which gave Macaulay a platform for producing popular opposition to the colonial practices. When Northern and Southern Nigeria were united in 1914, a colonial policy which he vehemently and vociferously opposed, because according to him, the British colonial authorities were only determined to do, the, to do it so as to use the financial surplus of the Southern Protectorate to sustain their colonial governance of the geographically humongous but economically anemic Northern Protectorate. The new Legislative Council was headed by the governor and, cons and consisted of seven British officials, two British non-officials, and two Nigerians, one of whom was Williams. He died on 15 March 1915, Williams's views on development of the colony included close association with European ideas and institutions, and it was against thoughtless and non-constructive criticism of the administration. However, although Williams in many ways accepted European concepts and values, in October 1896, he sponsored an Egungu festival, a traditional ceremony. Moves such as these by one of the leaders of the Jeshas in Lagos were welcomed by the traditional rulers of the Yoruba. Williams once said, I quote, a lawyer lives for the direction of his people and the advancement of the course of his country, unquote. In conclusion, are you purposefully living for the advancement of the course of Nigeria? And that is the show for tonight. I am Bola Oba. Have a good night.